Hello and welcome to the Online Training Adobe Photoshop Lightroom video tutorials. In the past tutorials we've been looking at the different overviews in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. We've looked at the Library tab, we've looked at the Develop tab and we've looked at the Slideshow tab. We're now looking at the fourth tab along which is the Print tab. A powerful tool in Lightroom to print any size, any shape and anything from your photos. So let's start off by opening Lightroom. Here we go. I've moved on to the print, you can see that by its highlighted white. Now, it doesn't look very impressive to start off with, but let me just run you through the overview. We aren't going into detail as in any of these overviews, to show you what you can do with the print. Now, I'm actually on an A4 tab at the moment, as you can see, this white square around here where my mouse is moving is an A4 sheet. The bottom is the picture, I've got white scroll pictures. One thing you may notice straight away about that is if you print that off, you're doing a waste of paper because you've got a massive big strip here, a massive strip there. But with one click, that's sorted. If you look on the right hand side, zoom to fill through, that just stretch it up a bit, which you don't really want because we, we get rid of pristine here. But auto rotate fit strips it right round and zooms it in. Zoom to fill frame then. That is one I4 sheet. You've now, with two clicks of the button, took it, and that's printed. You could print an I4 sheet there easily, print off multiple copies of that, black and white, do it in charcoal, whatever. Again, repo, repeat one photo per page. You can do that and print off multiple pages of that. Stroke border. Do you want a border on your photo? Make it look a bit more professional, any glue you want. A bit purple. Anything you can have a border if you want to. I don't. Margins, you might want means all the different sides. So that's silly, but you might not want any of A few clips, that's all it is. Rows, patch grids, whatever. You also have guides for cutting. And a very important part in Lightroom is to switch a different photo. I love that photo this time. Again, you're switching all the photos at the bottom, and as you can tell, it's automatically fitted to that page. Identity plate. Turn that on. Again, they've got their preset. Move it to the magazine or for client, and you're going to give these out. You don't want them to have a full photo. Well, just copy that one. I won't bother paying for any more. So, if you put your corporate logo on, as we saw before, you can edit this in multiple ways. You can just put simple text, online training, which is fine. You can use a graphical identity plate, which you just search your file. I haven't got one up at the moment. I don't think I'll, I'll find one. I'll just find you a quick logo. Which all these just said simple. These are all logos that are part of the online training website. And if you want to support basically any logo you want into these, you can do. And it's a perfect way of proving your work and copywriting your work. Because in this day and age it needs to be copyrighted. I'm just trying to find you. There we go. Now this isn't the best of it. Sorry about that. This isn't the best example I'm putting at the moment because it's got rendered. But even a bit of time in photo, just set the background. You can use that fine. If you use anything you can just try to keep it corporate or what it looks more professional. There we go. In case of that, you then have your corporate. Like, so that's not the best one. Like that example, but that's just an idea of how you can use anything you want. I really do love this program for their identity plates. But if we keep it simple, if you want to prove work, you do it like that. You type the artist in a bit so they can still see it. You know, whatever one I put it in blue or any other you want. Scale up a bit. There you go, you've instantly proved your work. You make work as a logo. So put the artist here with the scale down. Well, that'll there right corner. You've got the option. Just turn off one. You can put page numbers on these. Then the bottom. You can put page information. All the page information is down there. And you can do colour management, which is an important thing. But you might be thinking, what about colour down for? That's fine. You can change this to anything. In the template here, they've gave you even greeting cards. Ready folded. Two by two squares, four wide. All these, if you look at in the preview here, it's showing you. I've only got one photo in the moment, but. 
loads of different options and I'll be showing you how to use these options to make a personalised printable sheet. I haven't got any a printer installed but as you can see page set up just as normal you use your own printer or send it to a network printer. So that's the print page in a day with Photoshop Lightroom. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Join us next time when we'll be looking at the web page where you can create professional looking flash for HTML web documents. As I say at the end of it, as I say at the end of every tutorial, online training is not a funded website. We use free web space and we use YouTube as an uploading service. If you like the the way you can help with this if you like the videos and you want to watch them in high resolution on your DVD player or on a CD ROM, they're only two pounds. Go on to online training.co.nr we use PayPal as a secure web payment site and just buy one all the money goes to funding the website and making these tutorials better for you. Great, I hope you enjoyed this, thank you and goodbye.